Okay, so we are on the Big Leap journey and on this part of the process of the Big Leap challenge, I want you to decide who you're going to invite to be in the passenger seat. And there are two characters you probably already know because they're already living in your head. One is your inner pessimist. And the other is your inner coach. Let's have fun on this journey, eh? So, the inner pessimist is a personification of fear. And also, I think it represents a part in the brain called the amygdala. Now, the amygdala is a part of the brain from ancient times. It used to be very, very useful as a warning system. So when we were cavemen and running around, it'd say, quick, there's a big animal over there and he's gonna eat you. Run or freeze. So it's great as a warning system. However, in the 21st century, this part of our brain that's constantly telling us threat, 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 it's not useful because it's just flooding our body with anxiety hormones, stress hormones, especially a hormone called cortisol. So in a pessimist is a personification of fear. Fear is something that is being fired by this part of our brain called the amygdala. So the bad news is, is we cannot get rid of this part of our brain. We can't switch it off. But the good news is that there is another part of our brain that we can start firing up, which is your left prefrontal lobe. And that is personified by another character that I'd like to introduce you to, called the inner coach. So your inner coach is a personification of love. And this lights up a different part of your brain, your left prefrontal lobe of your brain. And although the bad news was that we can't um, do anything about the amygdala, the inner pessimist, what we can do is light up a different part of our brain instead, invite a different person on your journey with you on your big leap challenge. So your inner coach talks to you, not in your head, but in your heart. She kind of, it's a kind of that nudge, you know that kind of feeling of heart leap or heart sink. You'll meet someone, and you can't quite put your finger on it, but you don't like them. You should do. They tick all the boxes, but you're like, mm, not sure about that person. It's intuition. It's gut instinct. That is how your inner coach talks to you. You know how she talks to you because she's probably the, the person who's got you on this program. She's the person saying, you've got a big dream. You want to live, you want to live it? Then listen to me. So you know who your inner, inner coach is, which is all great news. But what we've got to be able to do is make that leap from the inner pessimist to the inner coach. Automatically, you think, oh, hang on, inner pessimist stuff going on, quick! I can, you don't have to put pink bunny ears on, but you can make the leap to start lighting up this part of your brain. And the more that you can do that, and you can do that, it only takes between 60 and 90 seconds to go from your amygdala, the fear, response in your brain to lighting up the left prefrontal lobe is where all of this activity happens. So they did a, some research with some Buddhist monks and they took photographs of their brains with an MRI scan when they were meditating on compassion and love. What they found is this part of their brain would light up like a citadel of neurons firing ding, 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 on love. This is, and this is the place that we need to light up if we're going to make the big leap challenge an enjoyable challenge. The inner coach is the person you need to have in your passenger seat in this Big Leap Challenge. So how do we light up this part of our brain? It's really, really simple. All we have to do is think about someone or something that we love. In 60 to 90 seconds, this part of our brain lights up. And the great news is the biological evolutionary scientists have shown that we cannot feel fear and love at the same time. So although we can't do anything about the amygdala in our brain going, ah, oh, threat, 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 what we can do is switch it off by lighting up this part of our brain instead, which is about love, compassion, joy. So I want you to focus now, close your eyes and think about somebody you love. It could be your dog, it could be your cat, it could be um, an experience that you had that gave you great joy, an experience that you loved. Close your eyes, 30 seconds, 40 seconds, 60 seconds. Okay, this part of your brain is now lit up. You are now completely in touch with your inner coach. 
<laughs> by the ears or not. Okay, so there we have it. That was your inner pessimist and your inner coach. I hope you enjoyed the introduction to those two particular characters. The question is, who are you going to invite on this to be the passenger in your car on this big leap challenge? Don't panic if you find your inner pessimist <laughs> trying to muscle in and be a backseat driver. It's completely normal. It takes practice to keep making the leap between inner pessimist and inner coach. Inner pessimist, inner coach. Being aware of it is part of this process. Just being aware of who's in your passenger seat is a huge undertaking. So if you can just decide and make a conscious effort, minute by minute, sometimes second by second, to who you're gonna to listen to. Inner pessimist, inner coach, inner pessimist, inner coach. Just remember, it's your choice. It's your choice who you're gonna invite on this big leap journey. Who is gonna be in the passenger in your car? In a coach, in a pessimist, it's your choice.